Good evening, what happened in Las Vegas today? Tonight we are out at the El Cortez Hotel and Casino and we are here for the Downtown Improv Festival. Uh, we have a 7.30 show that we're going to. There's gonna be, I believe, four improv groups. And I brought a couple guests with me. So I have Ashante and I have Keith. So Ashante, you wanna say hi to anybody? Hey, what's going on, Mom? Hey, oh, good, good. Hi, Mom, that's good. Hey, Mom, send money. Um, so uh, what do you do here in Las Vegas? Oh, I work in the financial services industry. Oh, I work in financial. Mom, he's going to take care of you. You send him money now. Later on, he's going to take care of you. Okay? And then also, I got another familiar face there. You can see there's Keith. How you doing, Keith? Doing great. Doing great. Ha having a good day? I am having an amazing day. You ready to laugh? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So what's the number one rule of improv? Does anybody know? No. That one I don't know. The number one rule of improv is it's yes and. The minute you say no, you've killed the skit. So no matter what anybody does on the stage, you got to agree with them and move on with the thing. So take a look at these faces, see what they look like now. When we come out of the show, we'll let you know if these faces have changed and we thought it was a good idea. So we'll see you after we come out. Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, your first trip of the second night. Give it up from Los Angeles, it's Max! Max, uh, give yourselves a round of applause for coming. Yeah. Woo! Uh, thank you, Anthony, uh, Mark, Max, and Brenda for having us. Uh, just by show of hands, who here has never seen improv before? Yes? Oh, wow. oh perfect. Great. Uh, <laughs> we're all going to take And then brings them back to the hive, and then they somehow, I think they puke up the honey. <laughs> They just vomit it up. Yeah. Uh, but whatever they do, it's extremely important, and they're dying, and people are terrified. <laughs> they're important. Like, if the bees go, we go, and the bees are going. So <laughs> Because they pollinate, like, all oh, the plants that we need to eat and survive. So if they stop doing that, then are the plants still going to grow? Do we have to make robot bees? <laughs> uh, honey bee or honey bay also refers to one significant other. Uh, yeah, so like you can call them honey or you can just call them bay. Uh, and it's your lover or your... Yes, it's the sugar on the side. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's the thing you like to flaunt uh, when you when you go out to the club. Uh, if you don't have your honey bay, you better be the honey bear. Um, uh, trying to attract uh, as many honey bees as you can. Uh, uh, honey bee is... Not as good as Honey A. It's. <laughs> nope. We're just gonna die, so live with that, buddy. Wow. Uh, like at the big desk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Delivering the desperate news and, and just saying, take it, world. You're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guys, sorry. Somehow, because of the bees, the entire Atlanta Braves are dead. We need to go live. We need to go live. We <laughs> <laughs> got this. Two. Camera one. Camera two. <laughs> uh, uh, we regret to inform you. <clears throat> Uh, that the Atlanta Braves have died. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. Seems <laughs> <laughs> to feel better after they do it. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. 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 Woo! <laughs> Woo! Go on. Do it! Do it! Do it. I don't have to puke! Come on! Who oh won't give me their honey? The queen needs honey! Oh, yeah. 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 Why? Yeah. Why? Why do we puke all day for this, yeah. this one woman? Why? We are repping a bunch of different campuses. So let's give a big round of applause for Campus Pro Show! <laughs> Sure. Thank you so much for being here. What's, what is this? Well, Marty, we've been together now for these. How long have I been singing? Forty years. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get me. You don't get my brand. I don't get you. You don't get me. 
You don't think I put out your favorite bottles of water? I like the bottles of water. You don't think I'm the one that tells all the good looking girls to stand in the front for when you look out? Yeah, you know how I feel about looking at girls in the front. What do I always say? Not, Not one fucked up, up piece of hair. I can't do it, man. Yeah, no, if someone comes in with like a brush in their hair, yeah, no. Like, no, you go to the back. Yeah. The front is not for you. No. <laughs> Justin, there's a lot of tension between my sister and I. I can feel that. <laughs> we just don't want to take it on stage tonight. We're nervous. I don't, I don't know if there's room for both of us on your stage. I agree. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you and Justin have a deal already? Amy, no, 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 no. <laughs> Justin, catch a Justin by the Timberlake. <laughs> Let him sex you back. <laughs> Justin, I was the best, the best looking dancer, best dancer. Look at this. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's incredible. One more time. Uh, I need to see that a third time. You're a transcendent dancer. There can be no doubt of that, but I can't have this energy. Jessica. Meredith. Dancer. Dancer, sorry, dancer one. Dancer two. You know it's hard for me when you don't do that. Sorry. Dancer one, dancer two. Fine. Dancer number two. All right. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. What the fuck, Mar? This is the worst concert ever. I know. It's like she's not turning around at all. But her friend was like, I, I will only go if I can bring this weirdo with me. Uh, after this show, he does deserve to like not have a career, Marty. Dancers, <laughs> gather round. <laughs> I was very impressed tonight. My most loyal dancers and these two underage women. <laughs> You really brought the heat. Marty! Hey, hey, Justin, great show! It's after great. the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, Marty. No. Not even a little? Not even a little. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Uh, as your lovely host mentioned, we are Gringos. We are an improv troupe from LA. And we have a little bit of a special format that we do. Rather than get a suggestion of a word from you, we, we would love participation from you in the form of a story. Uh, specifically in the form of a juicy, maybe a gossip story. Um, we do a show called El Chisme. In Spanish, chisme means gossip. Following your dreams out here being a dancer, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, sorry. Um, do I have a job or? Oh, uh, just wait. We're not done yet. I'm still trying to get to know you. You see, you're out here trying to be a dancer. I only ended up here in LA because my car broke down. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Then a thing A happened, thing B happened. Now I'm in charge of this entire dance studio and uh. Wait, your car broke down here in Los Angeles? I was actually on my way to Canada. <laughs> Whoa, that's very cool. Uh, that's awesome. Um, I, you know, I this is my final destination. I want to, you know, be a background dancer, in music videos. And yeah. I was just wondering. Um, we are casting the new Jennifer Lopez vid. Listen, I need to know that you don't really want this. That I don't. No, I, I want this. In my this. experience, I really want this. Shut your mouth. <laughs> In my experience, the most successful people are those who end up where they are. They don't, they're not... Successful. I'm, uh, I'm quitting. I'm sorry, I'm quitting. <laughs> Please don't smoke in my face. <laughs> this is Vegas, baby. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm quitting. I'm packing up my bags, I'm going. Don, what, what this time? What this time? Yeah. Um, 
no, I just, you know, I, I just want to experience life a little bit. I want to, you know, I want to explore my possibilities. You know, UCLA has a great medical program. Maybe <laughs> I can become a doctor. I don't know. <laughs> really? I, yeah, I'm also not big on the office culture here of doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, um, such a big city. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, you said on your Tinder profile that you uh, are a banker, is that right? <sighs> <laughs> One could say that. Yeah. Stop. I am so sick of this. People acting like they have money and they don't. No. Okay, your your profile said banker. What are you? A teller? I do. I'll take the check. It's a... Hi. How, how, can I help you out with anything? Some dessert, maybe? <coughs> Whatever the lady wants. I want to go home. Oh. <laughs> this guy is broke as hell. Okay. <laughs> Can you give us one second? Get us a Please. get us your dessert cart. There's I'll get you a menu. I don't have a cart. <laughs> so this is a cheesecake factory. Doesn't cheesecake factory have, have a cart? cart? You're broken than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let me talk to my manager real quick. <laughs> uh, right, uh, so um Director, before this take, um, I'm wondering if you're interested in some life insurance. <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh, you know, before we roll cameras, I just wanted to, you know, my previous job was uh, um, ah. sell life insurance. Side hustle, all right. It's not fake, it's real. <laughs> it's ah. worth it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's key. Okay. Uh, what, do you, what do you got? Well, I'm, I just wanted to let you know my background. I'm a complex oh. person, okay? okay? Can you do me a favor and just bring out Tara Reed, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for her. Hey Jeff, we're back in on scene five. Great. Thank you. Okay. Just get Tara Reed, please. Hey Carl! <laughs> <laughs> Denver, uh, to get us started, we just need a suggestion of anything at all. Octopus. Octopus, thank you. Hey, buddy. You have a pretty big tank here. Too big to be all alone. <laughs> hey. Hey, buddy. I understand what you're going through. I have extra arms, too. <laughs> I've been living by myself for 12 years in a one-bedroom apartment. Well, I say one-bedroom because I put a bed in there. It's <laughs> a studio. <laughs> what's it like not knowing what's wrong with you? <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> I can look at other people and say, they don't have other arms. This is my problem. But you, you're in here by yourself. You're like me. <laughs> nice studio, brother. <laughs> you like the bed I put in your tank? <laughs> Same. It's, pretty, it's pretty wet. <laughs> to Casper, you're welcome. <laughs> it cost me $1,200. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, you okay? I just about fell down the front steps. Oh my God. I just about fell down the front what steps, happened? snapped my ankle in half. Was someone out there? <laughs> no, I'm getting up in age. I think I'm just... <laughs> You're gonna need to take all the steps out of this house. <laughs> I can't do it anymore, you know? Ever since your mom left, I'm just falling everywhere. I think, uh, I think I'm ready for a, a retirement home or maybe move in with you, yeah? You got that second bedroom. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> oh, the team will never die! Whoa, 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 whoa. Be hey, be I am. You just took three shots of Jameson. I'm three sorry. shots of Jameson colored water. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a whole line of maternity booze down here. <laughs> <laughs> I made it at home, and this way people still think I'm fun and cool, but I get to keep working until Dude, I give birth. That's so awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should try the uh, 
pregnancy horchata. Why can't you? Why can't you have that? Why can't I have have horchata? Because I'm allergic to rice. What a fucking bullshit! It's a pregnancy thing. You can get pregnancy-related diabetes, and you can get a pregnancy-related rice allergy. (laughs) Doctor Stevens knows he. Studied abroad. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. oh we got customers! Whoa! 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 Actually, a lot smarter than you might think, but at the same time, goldfish is in a bowl. Tend to forget things every five, five. Something shiny, something shiny. Goldfish forgets every time I come out here. I guess I would uh, cut the Department of Commerce, uh, <laughs> cut the Department of Transportation, <laughs> and then I would. Uh, Got a shit like nobody's business. I could have waited until you were out of the bathroom to come talk to you. You know I like to talk in here. It's going to be a while. (laughs) Dad Dad really misses you. Um... But I, th- I, so I think you should come back home. Is he still trying to bust me? <laughs> Almost fell getting out of the goddamn shower. I am sorry. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I'm a great teammate. She's, she's right there. Oh, hey. <laughs> My last paycheck. Oh my God, uh, so, so hey, so good, so good. So good. So oh, bump, bump, and bumps. Very pretty. I would take care of her. Take care of her. She's precious. She's precious to me. She's precious to my baby. I'm gonna make her the godmother. Shut I'm up! I'm gonna make her the godmother. Is this the moment you're asking? I'm. I'm not even asking. I'm telling you, the oh godmother. My God. I die. You're taking care of Jane. <laughs> I I'm gonna need my Jane. Jane. Oh! Jane, baby. <laughs> Oh my god, my belly button just popped out. I think you're going into labor? No. <laughs> oh, okay. It's anyway. not like you touching your belly to that belly is going to make that belly pregnant. No, I... We're, we're, we're already pregnant. <laughs> oh. That is so rude. Did you just... <laughs> Welcome to 11th grade health. So that's the Downtown Vegas Improv Festival. Uh, a lot of fun. This is their third year, so if you get a chance, uh, come on out. Uh, they held it. They hold it at the El Cortez. Take a look for this. The Improv troops were great. I'll uh, start with Asante. Asante, what did you think? I thought it was great. Everything was kind of on point, especially when they started going and asking the audience what words to choose, and then they just kind of did their thing. It was really cool. Yeah, and and you'll see from the skits I recorded that you know each one had one theme. And they went ahead and did a great job from there. And then Keith, uh, what did you think? I thought they were fabulous. I mean, they took my life story, the Gringos, they made it into a little skit. Very impressive. I mean, just to be able to do improv, improv, it takes a lot of skill. Yeah, I thought all the troops were really good. I mean, the first troop that came out started out really strong, and they set the bar pretty high for the rest of the troops. Yeah, they really did. So, you know, but definitely great talent, uh, great cost-effective show if you guys are out here. Definitely support uh, local artists and stuff like that. But what, what a great bunch of uh, group of people. Um, do you guys want to say anything else about the show or anything else? Uh, just no. really, I mean, you guys got to check it out. I mean, they are fabulous. I mean, to be able to take and they take one story out of the crowd, it's not something that they uh, take and, and they memorize. They actually ask the crowd what it is that uh, you want them to talk about. What one of them they did was honeybees and they made it into an entire skit. That takes a lot of skill to be able to think of something right on the spot like that. Very funny. Yeah, a lot of fun. And uh, we'll both be taking these guys to a, a few more shows. And remember, if you're in Vegas or visiting Vegas, message me at the bottom. You can go to a show like this or another show with me, and then we review it on the channel afterwards. So, from what happened in Las Vegas, good night, everybody. Want to say good night? Good night. And we'll see you at the next show.